Also the fire, like, it's an amazing car. So first, what I wanted to show you guys really quick is all the customization, it, all the customizations it comes with, which is Bone Jack, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, we're going to be Pirates, p -p 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 Pirates. <laughs> we have Diablo, um, which is pretty basic if you're, if you've seen Hot Wheels cars before, it looks like all of them. Inferno, which is pretty cool. I like the skulls. Um, again, one of the ones that if you're if you've seen Hot Wheels cars, it's one of the ones you see a lot. This one is my uh, favorite. It's the Pro Street. As you can see, it looks kind of streetish, if you know what I mean. Um, we have Starstruck, which I think is pretty cool. But again, if you've seen Hot Wheels cars, it's kind of common for them. And Stripes, which is pretty much on every car now <laughs> and there's really no paint to go with it oh probably this. there's really no paint to go with it the wheels are ww5 sp which <laughs> i'm not sure how i just said that without messing up because it's kind of hard to say really fast but uh yeah so that's all the customizations for the bone shaker oh actually no i shouldn't do online what am i doing so, I'm just going to do a 3v3, whoops, I'll do a 3v3 on pro mode just to show you guys how good the bone shaker actually is and what it is used for. So, uh, yeah. What I mainly use bane, sh bo bane shaker, <laughs> it's my bane to use the bane shaker, <laughs> but I just said it wrong again, never mind. Anyway. What I use the bone shaker in is mostly the basketball mode because I use it really good on that. Like I'm really good at basketball using this car. Otherwise I really suck at it. So if you guys like basketball mode, then, or hoops as the game calls it, um, then this car is really good for that. So yeah, that's what I mainly use it for. And I'm assuming that's, not what they wanted it to be for <laughs> but it's pretty good for that this car um i think is mainly for going back and when the time is right charging and hitting the ball because it is like really powerful but it doesn't go full speed so you got to stay back a little bit and charge and get powerful hits off so oh i accidentally did rumble mode what? whatever rumble mode is basically what everyone does that's fine that's totally fine. <laughs> it's what everyone does, right? <laughs> Obviously, again, this is not for going in straight away and like dribbling and controlling. It's for going back and taking little burst strikes, as I like to call them, or pulse strikes. Just to wait a little bit and when the time's right, strike. It's really useful for that, especially when you're on offense or defense. Um, this car is good for both. So, if you don't know really what it is to use, if you don't like charging like that, then you should probably try out Twin Mill, which I don't actually have, but I've watched gameplay. And it looks like it's good for getting in, dribbling, and keep hitting the ball not just throw you back because it's really fast and it doesn't hit as hard so if you don't like this type of car and you don't like going back then you should get twin mill instead hmm. also with this car it is essential to use ball cam so then you know where the ball is at all time to stay back and strike 
see, as you can see, I'm way far back, but I can see where the ball is, so I can uh, get it. Now, then I really wasn't going to strike it because I had this power up, the suction cup, so I was trying to get the goal, but as you can see, I can still see it to go back and strike. So, if you guys don't use ball cam much, but you do like standing back and striking, and not just with that card, then you really should use ball cam more. Also, if you're an aerialist, this will help a lot, and you probably know that if you like getting aerial goals and stuff. Also, this card uh, is not for staying back too long, so if you like stay in the goal, the, the whole match, just to defend, it's not for that. You gotta stay back for like, a couple long time, and then you gotta go up and strike. Because again, this car is not only for defense, it's for offense too. So don't forget to go ahead every once in a while. Don't stay in the goal. And I'm assuming most people who play this game don't do that, because a lot of people wanna get goals and get high score, and do competitive play. So, most of you guys don't do that, but if you think this car is for defense, oh, and not for offense, then you're wrong. It's for both. You gotta have both equal for this car to be really good on your side. So, as you can see, I wasn't doing very good there because I wasn't staying back and hitting. But now that I'm doing that, I'm doing way better. And I'm gonna get a goal. <laughs> because I use spike. So, as you could tell, I was going up and striking way more than uh, you're supposed to, and it worked. It just get not get the ball very far, and I wasn't moving as fast as the other cars, so they caught up with me. So that, that's why you have to stay back and wait for the right moment, because the faster you're going, the more harder you'll hit the ball. So, that's why you have to stand back with this car, because it'll hit hard if it's going really fast. But you probably shouldn't, like, stay up on the ball no matter what. Because it is not gonna, you're not gonna get the best performance with this car. Or battle car if you wanna be specific with Rocket League, or Sonics, or whatever you wanna call it. Because that's what they call them. I don't know why they call them battle cars, because you're not really battling, you're just trying to score. But, I mean, I guess you can explode each other, but it's not the main thing. I don't know why they call it battle cars. No idea. Please, someone in the comments, tell me why they're called battle cars. I think it might just be based off of the old game. Um, super acrobatic rocket powered battle cars. Um, because it's battle cars, but that still itself wasn't battle cars. I mean, you were still trying to score. I'm not sure why they call it Battle Cars. <laughs> I have no idea. Please, someone tell me that in the comments. Or in real life. You know who I am. <laughs> so, on the intro, I prefer not to stay back. Or, or, I mean, to stay back. And with this card, this is probably what you should do. But if you can, you probably also do want to get in. But then go back, right back. Again, I'm really pushing it out that you have to stay back. But it really helps. Did that guy almost just pull it in his own goal? Stupid. It really matters because if you don't do this, you're not probably not gonna win matches and you're not gonna do as good with the performance of this car. And you probably won't like it either because you're probably not using it right. If you're using this car in basketball, actually, um, I mentioned this, at the start, with any car actually at the start to get the tip off of the ball you should always jump once use your boost to aim up and get to the ball and but then uh jump again while in midair to get to the ball easier that's always what you do so you can hit the ball every time and if you want to get even better and get goals at the start of each game you need to hold square while in air and you can switch your car to angles so you can aim it into the goal. So that's how you do that in uh, that mode. But basically with basketball mode with this car, it's in the same sort of thing as regular mode. Stay back, hit it when you can, and you're going to win every single time.
So uh, yeah guys, that is how you use the bone shaker, or basically the basics of the bone shaker. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys can get it. Um, I might be doing a video on the twin mill soon. I don't actually have the car yet, but I will, maybe, possibly, <laughs> if I can. Um, and I've heard, again, it's a pretty agile car, and you can get it in there and stuff. But uh, yeah, for now, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, crunch out.